Hey everyone, uh, coming live from my backyard. Um, it was a really long day at school, had a lot of different stuff going on um, and didn't have time to film before I left, so I'm gonna capture it here. Uh, so if you teach AP World History or know anybody who does, you, there was a pretty shocking change that was emailed out to all of AP World History teachers um, from the college board. And it's that starting in the 2019-2020 school year, um, the AP World History exam is only going to cover history from 1450 to present. Now, while I understand and like the rationale that AP World History focuses too much on breadth rather than depth and that you know, focusing on a shorter amount of time um, is going to allow more depth and more uh, time to build skills with students, I think that piece is great. But when you're talking about history from 1450 to present, the dominant narrative that's going to be told is about European conquest of the Americas, later enslavement of Africa, and then imperialism of the rest of the world um, into the modern day. And so it's a very, I'm, I'm concerned about it becoming a very Eurocentric class um, just by the nature of the time period, right? By going 1450, you're completely wiping out um, some of the great African kingdoms, uh, the contributions of you know African peoples through the migrations, um, Indian Ocean trade, uh, China, the golden age of China, all of uh, like the great accomplishments and inventions and everything that China accomplished um, for thousand years is just gone. We're just yeah, um, the Americas, we're not talking, at this point, you're only talking about post-contact Americas. Um, and I'm, I'm very concerned and very perplexed why in an age where we are supposedly becoming more racially conscious and more aware as educators that we would allow this corporation through College Board um, to make a decision that ultimately I think is about money uh, and erase history of people of color. Um, from what's what's being taught now you could argue that you know you don't have it, just because it's not tested doesn't mean you can't teach it uh, but that's just ignorant of the way most districts work right like I've always taught things um, that aren't tested and I've taught AP world the way I want to teach it because uh, I don't believe in teaching to that test and I don't believe that's the end-all be-all or what's important um, but when you talk about holistically system-wide across our nation um, what's going to happen and that's the more history of people of color and and non-european perspectives is going to be erased um, so i think ultimately i'm really concerned about the move i'm hopeful that uh, you know there might be some changes or some teacher voice that gets put into this that's going to change things um, but ultimately like ap is so valued by so many as like this great measure when it's really not um, but that's the way districts are going to go. That's the way school boards are going to go. And so I'm, I am really concerned that more of, you know, students that, that take the chance to take an AP level class, a college level class like that, um, are not going to be exposed to counter narratives and not be exposed to other stories uh, and are going to receive a narrative that history just kind of begins with Europeans dominating the world. And that takes us to the modern day. And that's all the history they ever learned. And to me, that's that's completely unacceptable and can't happen. So um, I don't think it's a good move overall. Uh, and so what you know, what can we do within our own individual classrooms to make sure that we prioritize marginalized voices and uh, non-European perspectives even in this time period? So uh, I guess we'll see. It's going to be an interesting summer because we're going to all have to prep and get our classes ready um, and change it all up for those that are teaching freshmen to get ready for a sophomore AP World History class the year that the test goes active. So stay tuned, I suppose.